All right, hello, folks, and welcome back to You Don't Know Jack, the 2015 edition. Okay, we're set. Just a quick so we are going to do episode 31. As we are peeping Todd's pervert supplies. Hello, I'm Cookie Masterson, and I found this kazoo in the trash. <laughs> Good job, Cookie. A single-player game, I see. Yeah, thanks for making us go through all the effort. And today's wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Peeping Todd's Pervert Supplies. Get out of the bushes and into our store. Become a member today and we'll whack off an additional 10%. Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get whack yourself some sweet prizes and huh? bonus cash. This is a fair All right, show. we're taking off. Get ready, time for fashion. To begin with, birds of a feather Keeping do hip-hop dancing together. Perverts. Which contestant would you not see on the talent show America's Got Talons? A singing condor, a dancing owl, a not juggling a falcon, falcon not an or owl. a whistling crane? God. Um, oh, God. Watch the... Condors, owls, and falcons are all birds of prey and have talons, but a crane does not. Why do I have a feeling that Howard Stern's opinion on this show would always be supported by Robbins? Aha! It's time for... I, like you did I was lost, but now I'm drunk. And it's <laughs> time to pour a dis or dat. It's late at night, I'm folks. I'm a little bit tired. Things, and for each one, you tell me if it's a book by evangelist Billy Graham okay. or a Guinness advertising slogan. If it's Billy Graham, press the square button. If it's Guinness, press the circle button. Okay, we're off. All right. Out of the darkness comes light. Yeah. For each day, the secret of happiness. Answers to life's problems. The most natural thing in the world. Believe. How to be born again. You did not choose the I path did of righteousness. No, but I'm still in the I black, had a buddy. experience after drinking some Guinness. Although once you've drunkenly interrupted a baptism, there aren't many churches that'll let you in after that. <laughs> Catholic Church. Yeah. Who knows? Here's one for you. Every quest you take. What do the police and Frodo Baggins okay. have in common? Both fought over a ring, both have a sting, both have a love interest named Roxanne, or both are from Middle Earth. <laughs> sting is the lead singer of the police and also the name of the sword Frodo carries with him. Both can also really shred a mandolin. <laughs> I don't know, I've never heard, heard uh, Frodo play mandolin before. May I introduce... Do you smell what I smell? Do you smell okay, what so, I smell? Oh, sorry, we've, we've got all this garbage in here, and the smell almost made me puke on my microphone. Oh, fuck the trash, here we go. Okay, what do we have here? There's a lot of soft felt, and there's a Pizzelle, a Biz Cachito, and a Florentine. Whose trash is this? Kermit the Frogs, Big Birds, Cookie Monsters, or Elmo's? Florentine. Soft felt. Biz. Time's a. Hmm. These are these are all types of cookies from around the world. So yeah, this is up. Yes! Is cookie monsters trash. <laughs> Throw in some used candles and a Nicholas Sparks book ruined by tears, and this isn't much different than my trash. That's pure guess, folks. Five 
Pucker up for. You're not the cake boss of me. If the cake boss were commissioned to bake the cake that Alice ate in Alice in Wonderland, what instructions would he have? It needs to make her bigger. It needs to shrink her. It needs to let her see in color. All right, it needs uh... to give her... After Alice drinks the potion that makes her tiny, she eats the cake that makes her become huge. <laughs> I shot the devil because I thought that was a pervert supply of time. That about does it for round one. And your score is pretty much just fairly okay. Remember, I'm doubling the value of each question in round two. And keep in mind, okay, the wrong answer of the game is still out there waiting to be picked. Alright, let's get back to it. Next, air she blows. Oh boy. There's so many sub shops now. Subway, Quiznos, Jimmy John's, that nice restaurant inside Target. But my personal favorite <laughs> is Blimpy because it's just fun to say. Blimpy! Blimpy! <laughs> anyway, Blimpy. No product placement, folks. If eating a Blimpy sub gave you the same kind of gas that is used to fill a modern day blimp, what would you have? A hydrogen, a nitrogen, an argon, or a helium? No, I thought it was uh, helium. Yep, these days, blimps like the Goodyear blimp are just filled with helium like regular balloons. Because you now, don't have flammable gas in them. Imagine you the same kind of gas you usually smell when you're on a subway. Open wide for wild times in my oh, mouth. Oh boy. Which of these is not a candy bear, a gummy grizzly, a red licorice, red panda, Peeps. a sour patch, and subject? It's so obvious. A red panda Got is it. not a bear. It's actually closer to a raccoon. Great. So I've been taking sexy photos on raccoon skin rugs? Oh. Yeah, no, I'm afraid you're in peep trouble. <laughs> Which is why you're lucky to have won... This giant shrub costume with built-in binoculars from Peeping Todd's Pervert Supplies. <laughs> Keep your hands where no one can see them. This wrong answer of the game is worth oh 8,000 bucks for you. Nice job. Follow me down to the sea. Oh, Coming up next, you're wearing the hell out of that harpsichord. Okay. I know you can't see me right now, but I just want you to know that I'm wearing my piano key necktie today, okay. and I have to say, I'm looking pretty damn sharp. But tell me this, if it worked like a real piano, what sharp key on my sharp-looking piano key necktie is basically the same key as a B-flat? A-sharp, B-sharp, C-sharp. To play an A-sharp, you hit the same key as when you play a B-flat. It's the black key between an A and a B. Yes, I was a music education my major, folks. Underpants. Well, she knows by now. Oh, God. Oh, God, that was a terrible idea. Bye-bye, number four. He went gone. Bye-bye. I call this one. She said what? You know how people like to say that's what she said? Well, uh -huh. which of these is actually what a she said? Parting is such sweet sorrow, to be or not to be, my kingdom for a horse, or what light through yonder window breaks? <laughs> One right answer coming up. This line is delivered by Juliet in Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. The rest are all said by Juliet. That dudes. wasn't sweet or not to me, that was Hamlet. Wow, Shakespeare quotes. That was a hard one. That's, That's what, what she said. said. Get back to work! Oh boy. Dude, ten playing in the playground. Yay. And now, the heavy metal music of old. Suppose you're at a geological timeline music festival, which sounds amazing. What band should immediately follow the queens of the Stone Age, the princes of the Bronze Age, the kings of the Fire Age, the princesses okay, of the Iron the Age, Age, or the dukes of the Quartz Age? God. The Age of Aquarius? I don't know. 
The Iron Age followed the Stone Age, Yay! but not immediately. Ah! I so wanted you to pick this one. The Stone Age was followed by the Bronze Age. Uh, actually the Princess got it of the right. Bronze Age isn't a very good live band. They make too many eras. That was bad. Step right up to the jack attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. Two thousand. Last time I skipped right. by mistake, folks. You're wrong. You lose two thousand. And most importantly, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. No thanks for the memories. Who's having some memory problems? Good luck. This isn't a Frank Sinatra song. Born died. I never saw them, never saw, um, the board I did, but, you know, he's the main character, so I'll take it. I don't know! Which, Muppet, was it Miss Piggy? Well, I'll take care of it. Maybe you should go. You know. Never saw Spider Man 3! The Spider Man? I don't know! Never saw Memento! Another Nimoy. Boy. I don't know. I'm Jason Bourne. Was it Nemo or was it Dory? To see how it once. X Men. No, it wasn't Charles Xavier. Who's the one having the issues? Yeah. Never saw the hangover. I just guess. That's all she wrote. Look at that score. I've been having some short-term memory problems lately, but that won't stop us from having a great round of you to know Jack. Okay, Probably first question, best score so far. the do hip-hop dancing together? You don't know Jack! Alright, catch us next time for episode 32 of You Don't Know Jack, the 2015 edition.